accuse my people. I Bob don't go accuse former Emo State Governor Emeka Inhedioha of trying to seize their communal lands for Fulani headers to graze cattle. They say he won't come carry their sensual lands, give Fulani headers as compensation. Say make him no try ammo. If not, the consequences is going to be very deadly. Say he no go find the matter funny at all. Hmm, my people. Now so the matter they go. Let's quickly hit the news to get full details. But if you are joining us for the first time, kindly subscribe. And please, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you all for always coming out here. May God bless you all. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, has accused the former governor of Imo State, Emeka Inhedioha, of planning to forcefully take over some parts of Umurikweni community in the state. The community is in the Ungwa Opala local government area of the state. IPOP also accused the former governor of planning to hand over the land to Fulani headers for the establishment of Ruga. Ruga is a Fulani word for human settlement and can also be interpreted as the acronym for Rural Grazing Area proposed by President Mohamed Buhari's administration to resolve the conflict between nomadic Fulani headsmen and farmers. It was, however, widely rejected in southern Nigeria. IPOB, who said that Inhedion had plans to give the land to Fulani headers as a political co compensation to secure the government's support to achieve his governorship ambition, warned him to desist from the alleged plan. The separatist group urged Inhedion to redraw his court case with the community over the said land or be ready to face the consequences. In a statement by its media and publicity secretary, Emma Powerful, IPOP said it condemns in strong terms the reckless action of Honorable Maker Inhedionha over the intimidation and humiliation of the good people of Umoekweni community in Ngoopala. IPOP said it is pathetic that a maker Inhedionha can only use his powers and connections as given to him by the Zoo government to intimidate the people of Umekweni in Ngwaopala over their ancestral lands. He wants to give it as a gift to terrorist Fulani headsmen for political compensation. Emeka Inhedionha is dragging the entire Umekweni community to court over a landed prover uh, property after converting an NDDC supposed project for the Umwekweni community to his personal farm in the same community that he can manipulate justice in his favor. We are aware that the plans of Emeka Inhedionha are to dubiously get the essential community land and later give it to his full and masters for Ruga in exchange for political support for Imo state governorship position maintaining that IPOP won't allow him to do such. The sessionist group said, Honorable Emeka Inhedionha, you have only one option, that is to redraw the case from the courts and go and settle the matter traditionally with your mother's people before the good people of Ungwa Opala declare you an ab abdominable ground child. Stop humiliating the communities because you have power. Leave the essential communities over to the owners. If you don't, it will destroy you politically and any political party that identifies with you in the, in the coming elections should be ready to accept whatever comes their way before, during, and after the elections, it added. And wonderful people, this is coming from my bo. They don't go accuse um, former Imo state governor, Emeka Inhedioha of trying to seize their essential lands for Fulani headers to graze cattle in the lands. However, Nigerians have reacted to this. Hmm. Inhedioha is a true politician. Amolites should know who is behind this. This is the handwork of Uzodima and his paid agents at work. Hope Uzodima cannot continue to blackmail this to blackmail this man. We must vote Uzodima out. I know Mr. Inhedionha well. I don't believe that this is true. 
Where is the land in Mbise? Which I pop? Who's the man should be very, very careful, my wonderful people. These are reactions from Nigerians. You see what is happening. However, we Nigerians don't really know exactly what is going on if you know the governor is actually wanting to give the land to Fulani headers. But you know, but the IPOB are coming out to say that this governor is trying to give their central lands to Fulani headers just for compensation in exchange for political support for Imo State governorship uh, position. But by, um, IPOB has maintained that they won't allow such a thing happen. That if Honorable Maker uh, Inhediohan knows what is good for him, he should go and redraw the case from the courts and go and settle the matter traditionally. You know, he should stop humiliating the communities because he have power. He should better leave the essential community lands for their owners and not come and, you know, forcefully take their lands because he has power to do so. That he should desist from such act. If not, the consequences that will come his way is going to be very, very deadly. That he won't even find it funny, my wonderful people. The, this community is in the Ungwa Opala local government area of Imo State, where the indigenous people of Bihafra, Aipo, has accused the former governor of planning to hand over their lands to Fulani headers for the establishment of Ruga, saying that he is doing this in, in exchange for, for political compensation, saying that this act of his is not you know, going to be taken lightly by the people, that he should stop using his powers and connections as given to him by the Zoo government to intimidate the people of Umuikwenu in Ungwa Opala over their essential lands. That he wants to use it as a gift to, to give a terrorist full and knee headers for, for political compensation, my wonderful people. This is what is happening. So, guys, what's your take concerning this issue? Mm -hmm.